What's up, everybody? Welcome back to today's episode of Thirsty Thursday, where we are tasting a beer with cryo hops. <laughs> Tops. So, cryogenically fantastic IPA with Phantasm. I had to look this up. New Image Brewing. New Image Brewing. Which we know nothing about. And no, neither does anybody else unless nothing, you've been there because there's, there's nothing, nothing on the website, nothing online. I had to nothing. look them up and there's there nothing about them other than they're in a little town in Colorado. Colorado. Two little locations around there. So, um, but uh, India Pale Ale with Phantasm, I had to look it up, and it's like a Chardonnay grape powder that's supposed to bring out the fruity characteristics of the hops. So. That sounds amazing. Cool can. Yeah, nice can. Cool artwork. Uh, Hopefully it tastes good. Yeah, don't know anything about them, so let's open it up. And All right. Looks like champagne. It, uh, it kind of looks like a uh, wheat beer. It's got a lot of light, oats. very light straw looking color. Yeah. All right. It's, uh, it should be. I'm a little congested, so I don't know if I can. It smells citrusy. I mean. Yeah, I got nothing. You got nothing? You're that, you're that kind of congested. Yeah, a little stuffy. Mm. Mm. Anywho. What, do you, what does it smell like? Citrusy? It smells citrusy. Yakima, Idaho hops. Yakima? Isn't that where, uh, mm. where it's the law of biting biker loose? Yakima I think Washington? he does. Ooh. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Ooh, hang out. This is something very, it, it, it's got this late sweetness and I'm, I'm wondering maybe if that's the Phantasm powder in there. But it does, I don't want to say it finishes like wine, but it finishes like with a wine type of a characteristic, you know. It doesn't taste as citrusy as it smells. I think my tastes are all off because of my nose. Mm. It's balanced. I like it. Smooth has a little bit of a tingle yeah. on the tongue. Mm -hmm. mm. Flavors? Uh, you might think I'm crazy, but... Usually. Yeah, I mean... Mm. Little, little grape, little banana. I mean... Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm not getting the citrus on the palate like I did on the nose. That's for... Yeah. Huh. It's very different. I can't really get any specific flavors. Probably because of my <sighs> stuffiness. Sorry. Mm. I dig it, though. It's very light colored. Surprisingly, it, well, so interesting. So it's an IPA, secret. right? And it, you know, it's hop like an IPA. It's got the bitterness that I think an IPA, you know, should have. It's not overly bitter, um, but the rest of it doesn't handle like an IPA. It's very mild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't need a greasy burger to bang down a bunch of these. And I don't feel like it drinks like a seven and a half percenter. Is it seven and a half percent? Yeah, definitely does not. Yeah, hundred percent. It's it not. It's, it's it feels more like a six to me. Five, six, six. Yeah. So I've never had a, a beer with this phantasm powder in here, and I think that might be what's kind of rounding it off a lot. And the other thing they do is you know the cryogenic hops, um, which does bring in a more it's supposed to bring in a more intense hop flavor, but I feel like it's kind of rounded out by that powder. You know, I'm not getting that, you know. Oh, Mikey likes it. I do like it. That's interesting. I wish I could offer more, but. 
I'd buy it again. I can't really get any. I'd buy it again. It's very mild. Yeah, might be too mild for you. Overall. I think Colorado. I don't not like it. It's it's. Colorado puts out some. Colorado breweries put out some great beer. I feel like there's a lot of uh, brewery culture and competition out there, and they're doing some cool stuff. Yeah. So we should probably make a whole another video on like cryo hops and why breweries use them and everything because I feel like this video could get stretched out if we start talking about that. But um, this is a all cryo cryo hop beer. So. Which, uh, what a yeast I've never heard of, Cosmic Punch Yeast. So, I mean, that's that's like another, it's not like, I have never heard of that before. So, it's not like an IPA, like an ale, like yeast that I would expect. But Like I said before we started recording, some of these ingredients you read on these craft beers and IPAs now, they, they don't sound natural. <laughs> they like, are, what though. What kind of chemicals are they putting in this thing? No, man, they are. But, mm. beauty of it. Beauty of it. At the end of the day, it's you know, untapped score. And I, I give this a four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I give it a four. I think I would give it close to a four, if not a four, mm. with what little I can taste of it. It's a shame you can't taste it. <laughs> yeah, that's mm. not a. That's when we should do like double and triple IPAs, like when I'm like a little bit stuffy and my, my taste buds mm. are shot. Mm. I would probably like more beers. I should have took a shot of that Kelchner's. Uh... <laughs> Horseradish before I uh, came down here. Ooh. Yep, that's the review. All right, so listen. Good solid beer. I like it. I'd buy it again. He uh, likes it, then most of you non-IPA drinkers might like it. Yeah, I mean this isn't a this isn't a, a, a crazy IPA, and you know when you you look at the label and everything, I kind of expected it to be a little more off the wall, but I think it's a very good beer. Roger that. All right, All right well. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, right? All right thanks like, for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Later. Bye.